you love the story of a teacher who can single-handedly turn around a classroom full of troubled kids, help them pass AP everything, and then all get them into Dartmouth? Well, then my book is certainly not the book for you. No, my memoir chronicles my wildly unsuccessful year teaching in a tough New York City public school. In this country, we love nothing more than the myth of the hero teacher. Dangerous minds, stand and deliver, freedom riders. These stories help us sleep a little better at night, but sad to say, they're not very often true. I left a career as a fundraising executive where I spent 20 years and I tried to give teaching a go. I wanted nothing more than to be one of those hero teachers, but sadly it didn't work out. I really think the reason why I wrote this book is because I don't think we're ever going to be able to reform our public schools unless we understand the lives of the children we're trying to educate. So take my student Freddie. He was a 17 year old freshman. He was the only breadwinner in his family. So he ran a drug ring for his brother who was serving time on Rikers Island. Yvette, my student, prostituted herself under the Manhattan Bridge for a dollar at nights. And Byron, the school's unrivaled intellectual powerhouse, had his Ivy League dreams dashed because he was an undocumented student. Now, I'm not a policy wonk, and I certainly am not a master teacher, but I'm the messenger. And my story is being played out in thousands of American classrooms as we speak. And the American public needs to understand that what happened to me is far more typical than the Hollywood hero version of the story. My friend Piper Kerman's memoir, Orange is the New Black, helped revitalize and energize the debate around prison reform. And I know that my book can do the same about education. What is history going to say about the richest and most powerful nation in the world that chose not to educate its most vulnerable students? I know my book, with a firsthand and compelling perspective, can help us understand the defining issue of our time. Thank you.